Miyu. I'm sorry I was late to pick you up from daycare. It's okay. I'll make dinner in a hurry, okay? Welcome home. I've been waiting for you. I'm here to help since your ex-wife is gone. Please don't hesitate to give me any sort of request. Now, you may start ordering me. I will do my best to serve you. Serve us? Daddy, who is this lady? Huh? Uh, this lady is... My name is Yuta Yamamoto. I'm 30. I work for an architectural design firm. Most of my work is about designing houses. Let me tell you a little about my story. It all started one morning about six months ago. Ayano, it's time to take Miyu to her daycare. Daddy, where did mommy go? That's weird. Hmm? These are <gasps> divorce papers. Divorce? Uh, uh, it's nothing, Miyu. I'll take you to daycare today. Okay, I'm going to get my bag. My wife, Ayano, disappeared one day. All she left behind was a divorce registration form and letter. Apparently she found a rich man and was planning to marry him. She didn't let me have a say in this decision, so I had no choice but to agree to the divorce. I had no time to be angry or sad. I had too much on my plate. Raising Miyu was my priority. I'll pick you up as soon as possible, but I might be late again. It's okay, I'll wait with the teacher. Miyu, I'm sorry. Yamamoto, you don't look too good. I know you've got a lot to do. I can cover you if you want. Which needs to be done the fastest? I owe you one. I don't know how I survived these past six months. I feel like I'm going crazy. I'm a failure as a dad. Don't be silly. You're doing a great job. Why don't you ask the boss if you could work short time just until things settle down a bit? Short time, huh? But I'm scared he'll tell me to quit if I ask him. And so, I was wondering if I could work short time for a while. This is the CEO of the company, Mr. Hiyakawa. He's passionate about his job, and he isn't the most patient man. I heard he often used to get in fights on site. However, everybody knows he's a genius designer. I joined this company because of my admiration for him. Okay. Uh, I appreciate it, sir. I'm grateful for your kindness. The thing is, working short time won't serve as a permanent solution. I have a suggestion that might make things work. Uh, suggestion? Go home today. I'll have my secretary, er, uh, my daughter, prepare for everything. Uh, okay. Thank you, Mr. Hiyakawa. I felt uneasy about his suggestion. I had no idea what it was. However, it was time to pick Miyu up from daycare, and that's where we go back to the first scene. You're Miss Hiyakawa, the CEO's secretary! Why were you standing in front of our apartment with that outfit on? That's not important. We should eat dinner. I ordered a healthy organic meal for you from a restaurant. You're not going to cook? Don't be too worried. I'll learn eventually. So, you don't know how to cook? How do you expect to be a maid when you can't even cook? You're not the type to dress in such a ridiculous costume to start with. What are you trying to do here? These are my father's orders. I was informed that you were aware of the arrangements. Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. He did mention a suggestion. This is what he was talking about? Wow, this looks so good. I'm so hungry. Miyu, you can't eat that yet. But my tummy is growling. I want to eat it. Miyu, you're allergic to milk. Let me check to see if there's any in here first. Okay. Miss Hiyakawa, there's nothing I need from you. I would appreciate it if you could leave now. I apologize for this terrible mistake. I should have checked for any allergies before ordering the food. However, continuing this lifestyle will wear both of you out. You need some help. Still... I'm begging you, please let me stay here. I want to help in any way I can. She sounded desperate, but I had no idea why she was so determined. I'm just an employee. Nothing good will come from hiring the CEO's secretary as my maid, and two singles from opposite genders should not live under the same roof. It's inappropriate. The CEO gives me direct orders for this. There is nothing to be worried about. I hope you can reconsider accepting me. hiyakawa san he wouldn't do this for no reason. Okay, I'll accept. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you so much. However, there are a few conditions. We'll have a trial period first. If things aren't working out by the end of next Sunday, you'll have to leave. And you have to keep our situation a secret. I don't want the other employees suspecting anything between us. I understand. Now that I have your permission to move in, I will be here full time at your disposal. Please, feel free to use me for anything. That was how it started. Miss Hiyakawa moved in with us the next day. Hey, you're looking so much better. I bet you're glad you asked for short time. I've had help with cleaning and laundry for the past three days. She's been a great help. I see. Is it possibly a girlfriend? Why do pretty girls keep getting drawn to you? I remember your ex-wife was hot. It's not a girlfriend. I have a maid. A, a maid? <laughs> Lucky you. Sir, it's time for our meeting. Okay. 
Miss Hiyakawa is at work like she has always been. She must be tired from doing all the housework, but she hasn't shown any signs of fatigue yet. Yamamoto, you're doing better. Uh, the CEO's secretary isn't doing well now. Her hands are so chapped, she used to take such good care of her skin. I didn't notice that at all. Chapped hands, huh. She has enough money to solve any problem thrown at her. Why would her hands be chapped? I knew why. It was because she did the housework at our place. <sighs> I don't know if she'll even accept this cheap hand cream. But I don't have time to get the expensive stuff. She'll have to live with this. My ex-wife loved high-end brands. She would reject the presents I bought for her. Apparently, I had no taste. Miss Hiyakawa will probably think the same. I considered putting the hand cream back. However, I couldn't watch her in pain anymore. Miss Hiyakawa even picked Miyu up from daycare today. She's been so good to us. But she hasn't told me why she's doing this for us. I wish she would. I'm home! Huh? Something's burning in there. Miyu? Miss Hiyakawa? I opened the door to the kitchen. Miyu and Miss Hiyakawa were standing in front of the fire. Their mouths opened wide. Why is the pan on fire? We're currently making white sauce for the gratin. White sauce? Yep, white sauce. Gah! This is black gunk, not white sauce. Miss Hiyakawa, why didn't you put out the fire sooner? I don't know how. Give it to me. I turned off the gas stove and put the lid on the frying pan. The fire will go out once I cut off the oxygen. All we need to do is wait for the temperature of the frying pan to go down. I'm sure we'll be fine. <sighs> I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. Miss Hiyakawa, that was close. Please be careful. Again, I'm sorry. I was cutting the vegetables. I forgot I had turned the gas stove on. All of a sudden, the frying pan was on fire. How about I do the cooking? I'm sorry. I asked you to do it. It's not her fault, Daddy. You did? Well, you said I wasn't allowed to eat gratin, but all my friends tell me how tasty it is. She was trying to make gratin so that I could eat it too. I was planning to use soy milk instead of regular milk. That way Miyu-san would be able to eat it, but it's all burnt now. You did this for Miyu? I didn't want her to be left out. She deserves to be included. Daddy, do you hate Miss Maid now? Of course not. Do you like her? I really like her. M Mio san you shouldn't ask such sensitive questions. So, Daddy, do you like her? Yes, I like her. She was willing to try something she's not used to for you. That proves she's kind. He likes me? I wonder if the fire is out yet. Let's make rotting together. We should wash the frying pan first. Miss Hiyakawa? Y yes We should get started. Uh, okay. After that, we made a gratin with soy milk together. We all enjoyed the subtle flavor melting in our mouths. Miss Hiyakawa, are you working? Do you have a second to spare? I was checking my father's schedule for tomorrow. What can I do for you? I'm not sure if you'll like it, but I was worried that your hands might be chapped because of all the work you do for us. Hand cream? Is this for me? That is so sweet. I never thought I would receive a present from you, Yamamoto-san. Miss Hiyakawa held on to the hand cream. Suddenly, tears began streaming down her cheeks. Uh, there's no need to cry! It's just cheap hand cream I bought at the drugstore! I am so touched that you took the time to pick this out for me, Yamamoto-san. Thank you for being so considerate. It's okay. I'm glad to see that you like it. I would like to give you a massage to show you my gratitude. I'm here as a replacement for your ex-wife. Huh? Your father would be angry if he heard. I can't make his daughter massage a lowly employee. But I'm sure you must be tired. I looked up massaging techniques online. I assure you, it will feel good. That's okay. Good night. <sighs> the way Miss Hiyakawa is acting, it's not normal, is it? We're not even close. Why would she want to live with us? Hey, she said it was her father's orders. Maybe I should ask the CEO why he suggested she come here. Ayano used to freak out whenever I gave her anything besides products from luxury brands. It felt so rewarding to give Miss Hiyakawa her present. I never expected that reaction from her. Sports day was coming up at Miyu's daycare. Daddy, are you coming to watch me? Of course. It's this Sunday, right? Is Miss Maid coming too? Well, I'm just a maid. Sunday is the last day of my trial period. I should stay here and wait. That sucks! Miss Hiyakawa, you're welcome to join us. It sounds like Miyu wants you to be there. I do! I appreciate it. I will think about it tonight. That night, the doorbell rang soon after Miyu fell asleep. Who is it? It's so late. It's me. Come on, open up! Uh, Ayano? Ayano? She's Miyu's mother. So, she's your ex-wife? How have you been? What did you come here for? Is there a problem? This is my home. 
The divorce papers have been submitted. This is not your home anymore. Don't be so mean. Anyways, who is that woman? I've never seen her before. We work for the same company. She's been taking good care of me, you and me. Pleased to meet you. My name is Hiyakawa. Can't believe you let the slut into our apartment. I don't want any misunderstandings with the neighbors. You need to leave now. You're overstepping boundaries. Miss Hiyakawa is helping us. You can't talk to her like that. You don't need her as long as you have me. I broke up with that old geezer. You broke up with him? But you tossed us out to be with him. His relatives wouldn't agree to us getting married. They knew I was with him for his money. Oh, Miyu's sports day is coming up. I'm going with Miss Hiyakawa. It's what Miyu wants. Why does she get to go? No way! Are you trying to steal my husband? I am not you. I admit, I did have my feelings when I asked Yamamoto-san if I could move in. However, I am confident when I say I am in love with him. Huh? You probably don't remember this, but you saved me back in high school. I'm sorry. I wasn't aware we knew each other from that long ago. Do you remember your welcome to the company party? It was held at my place. Yeah. I remember admiring the intricate designs. At the time, I was part of the basketball team. I had short hair and I was tall. People often mistook me for a guy. That's why I felt so insecure about my appearance. Oh, I remember now. You came by to say hi when you came home from team practice. Everybody complimented me by saying I was handsome, but you said I was pretty. You were the only one that said that. Well, you didn't seem to like the compliments everyone was giving you. I knew you were a girl. I figured it would be better to say you were pretty instead of handsome. I fell in love with you instantly. You were the only one who gave me the words I longed for. But I never got the chance to tell you since you got married soon after. So that's why you suggested to be a living maid. I get it now. I have been in love with you for seven years. I haven't thought about anybody else since that day. My father eventually accepted my choice. I prefer a woman who loves deeply. I know somebody like that would treat me right. You heard us, Ayano. So what? This is not your home anymore. You left. You don't get to come back. I plan to build a family with Miyu and Miss Hiyakawa. I'll ask you to leave one last time before I kick you out. Ayano sighed angrily and left the room without another word. Miss Hiyakawa, about Sunday, it would mean a lot if you could come. Are you sure about that? Miyu wants you to be there, and I do too. I would like you to join us on Sunday, not as a maid, but as a member of the family, as my future wife, if that's okay. What? You've loved me for seven years. It's my turn to give back now. <laughs> okay, I'll be in charge of making the obento. I haven't been practicing for nothing. I'll be looking forward to it, but don't overwork yourself. Yamamoto-san, um, if it's possible, do you think you could call me by my name? I always imagined what it would sound like to hear you say my first name. Oh, Mirei-san. Yuta-san. Am I blushing? Yes, you are. Mirei. Yuta-san. We had a rocky start to our relationship, but we made it official that day. We promised we would eventually get married. Mr. Hiyakawa, here's your tea. Yep. Father, can you stop being so intimidating? Well, one of my employees promised to marry my daughter without my permission. Uh, I apologize. It just happened to turn out that way. <laughs> you don't deserve my daughter until you become a first-class architect. I, I promise I will, for my family. Well, you've always been the motivated type. Daddy! I see you, honey! You're doing great. If you're curious, I'm happy to tell you that we became a family when Miyu started elementary school. Thank you for watching. How was today's video? Please check out our other videos as well.